Hi, my name is Mathieu Boisville, doctor in paleontology at the University of Tsukuba in Japan. As you know, the extant walrus Odobinus rosmaris is an iconic marine mammal of the Arctic, much like the polar bear or the narwhal. It has large upper canine tusks and uses a unique feeding technique called suction feeding. Although it is currently the only representative of its family, the Odobinidae, this family was very diverse during the Neogene with various successive evolutionary grades. This family was originated from the North Pacific and only the Odobeninae, which are distinguished by their large tusks, managed to migrate outside the North Pacific to colonize the North Atlantic and the Arctic, starting with Ontocetus probably during the Mayo Pliocene transition. But there is an historical controversy surrounding Ontocetus, which in the past was recognized under at least eight different species named, five genera, such as Porosmarus, Alactarium, and Chuchecodon. However, it was eventually determined that all these variations should be recognized under the species Ontocetus emonsi. Uh, when I was a master student, uh, I studied a fossil rarus mandible uh, at the Royal Belgium Institute of Natural Science in Brussels, uh, under the supervision of Dr. Olivier Lambert and Leonard de Wallet. And at that time, I noticed that this mandible was different from other no fossil walrus mandibles. So during my doctoral thesis, uh, under the supervision of uh, one of the co-authors of the paper, Professor Naoki Kono from the National Museum of Natural and Science of Japan, I decided to further investigate these mandibles by performing a detailed description and comparison of these uh, mandibles with those known from Ontocetus emonsi. With the additional help of Dr. Nariman Chata from the University of Berkeley in the United States, we conclude that the mandible uh, had dental and mandibular characteristics of both Ontocetus emonsi, but also the extant walrus Odobinus rosmarus. We also include two other mandibles found in the North Sea, one of which had already been partially recognized for its mosaic characteristic alongside uh, the holotype mandible found in 1993 uh, in the Norwich Crag Formation of Eastern Bavens locality in the United Kingdom. These three mandibles were all found in the North Sea and are dated from the late Pliocene to the early Pleistocene, for example, for the holotype. Ontocetus uh, was already present uh, in the North Sea from at least the early Pliocene after having colonized the east coast of the United States and later Morocco. On the other hand, Odobenus uh, did not arrive uh, in the North Atlantic until at least the late middle to early late Pleistocene. After conducting complementary analysis, such as morphometric and phylogenetic analysis, we conclude that we were dealing with a new species of fossil walrus belonging to Ontocetus, which would have presented feeding adaptation similar to the extant walrus Odobinus rosmarus. This discovery is important and unexpected as it allows us to better understand the paleogeographical context at that, during that time, but also the evolutionary trend towards section feeding in the walrus lineage. Indeed, uh, the global climatic cooling has intensified uh, significantly over the last five million years impacting uh, all the world's fauna and flora. Ontocetus did not escape this trend. Uh, being warmer tolerant, uh, it migrated from the North Pacific to the North Atlantic during the Myopliocene transition, colonizing along the east coast of the United States before moving to the North Sea and Morocco during the Pliocene, and hopefully influenced by successive glacial and interglacial cycles. Unfortunately for Ontocetus, uh, global climatic cooling intensified further uh, at the beginning of the Pleistocene, uh, leading to speciation toward section feeding uh, to cope with this cooling. However, the bottleneck it faced uh, in the North Sea, along with polar ice cap expansion and change in the mollusk fauna it prey on, led to its extinction. Ontocetus uh, managed to survive at least until 1.1 uh, million years on the east coast of the United States 
at more southern uh, favorable latitudes. But later, uh, towards the end of the Middle Pleistocene, uh, Ordobinus rosmaris uh, exploited this uh, climatic cooling to colonize the North Atlantic and filled um, the suction feeder ecological niche uh, in the North Sea left by, vacant by Ontocetus. So this discovery showed that there is still so much to discover in paleontology and that we are far from the end of our surprises. Above all, it also underlines the difficulty and the importance of recognizing potential parallel evolution in marine mammals, for example. But more importantly, we believe it is important for the public to realize the impact of the global climate change uh, on marine mammals, as well as fauna and flora in general. Indeed, the global the extent walrus is strongly impacted by human activity, whether it be hunting or global warming, uh, affecting its habitat and thus its prey. So we hope that this discovery can reinforce the idea behind conservation of these beautiful but vulnerable animals.